Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-2771. Item Number, SCP-2771 Object Class, Euclid Special Containment Procedures, at least 15 armed personnel trained in Procedure 366 to tell are to be available at Area 2771 at all times, in approximate SCP-2771-1 garb. Should SCP-2771-1 appear at any other Foundation facility, security personnel are to point insistently to the location of Area 2771 on a map until they disperse. Description, SCP-2771 is a phenomenon affecting clandestine Foundation facilities in which groups of SCP-2771-1 attempt to abduct armed security personnel. Resistance to, incapacitation, or capture of SCP-2771-1 merely results in their appearance in increased numbers and at additional facilities. Individually, SCP-2771-1 are non-anomalous humanoids dressed in poorly cut cloth approximations of black tactical gear and green uniforms. SCP-2771-1 only communicate by insistently pointing their index and middle fingers or through nonverbal cues indicating annoyance, frustration, or disbelief. SCP-2771-1 will alter abductees' clothing to roughly resemble their own using chalk, paint, and sackcloth. They are then transported by unknown means to SCP-2771-2, a desert area containing a tollbooth and a transportation system similar in appearance to an undulating human tongue. Subjects are required to sit in the tollbooth and engage with passing travelers for 8-12 hours before being returned to their facility of origin. Failure to interact with travelers using the appropriate protocol results in the subject's ejection and return by highly agitated SCP-2771-1 followed immediately by an additional abduction attempt. Although no direct communication of proper protocol has ever occurred, trial and error has resulted in Procedure 366-2 Tela, significantly reducing ejections. Procedure 366-2 Tela Personnel within SCP-2771-2 must remain within the toll booth until removed. Humanoid travelers will approach alone or in pairs, sitting upright upon passing bulges of muscle. Appropriate reactions are detailed below. Pointing should always be conducted with the index and middle finger extended and the thumb resting on the curled ring finger. Report any undocumented behaviors after ejection. Behavior response results. Traveler presence laminated photo ID. Consume any amount of the ID, wrap the remainder in foil, and return it. Traffic resumes. IDs have been described as crispy and bitter. Traveler presents any amount of currency. All recovered currency has been in modern denominations and appears to be legal tender. Slide currency away under forearm, then point in the direction of travel. Traffic resumes. SCP-2771-1 will divide any currency equally with abductees if possible. Traveler presents any other object even remotely bearing their likeness. Stare at likeness for approximately 15 seconds, return it, and point in the direction of travel. Traffic resumes. Traveler begins to peel skin from own face, beginning with lower eyelids. Nonverbally indicate impatience, then point in the direction of travel. Traffic resumes. Traveler approaches holding dinnerware or glassware aloft. Lick finger and repeatedly rub the edge of the dinnerware or glassware. If the traveler does not respond, Non-verbally indicate frustration, then point in the direction of travel. Otherwise, proceed normally. Traffic resumes. Traveler smiles. Engage traveler with sidearm. The transportation system will descend into a helix and engulf any injured or terminated travelers. Traffic resumes. Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did, please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations. Or